Robert Eggers follows up The Witch with the tremendous The Lighthouse starring Willem Dafoe and Robert Patterson as two men that arrive on this craggy old rock where a lighthouse is where they are going to be stationed for four weeks and they are just based there. They have the routines, Willem Dafoe's character is the person in charge, Robert Patterson is a new person to this way of life, this work and he is you know, pretty much under the tutelage of Defoe, who pretty much uh, uh, uses him as a tyrant, tells him what to do, uh, doesn't let him do certain jobs because he wants to do to it and it's basically just these guys trapped on this rock trying to coexist as the weather, as the, the monotony of what they're doing slowly wears them down and then the storms arrive and starts to batter down uh, the house and make the, the existence even harder as they try to hang on to sanity. And that is wonderful from the scope and from the the way the movie is shot in black and white in an almost square frame. It's just involving right from the start. And for the first half of the movie, you're just watching these guys kind of get to know each other a little bit, deal with the way they're living, deal with the dynamics of how they're going to work with each other. And it is atmospheric, it is captivating, and it's just downright jaw-dropping. The performances from these two characters are just amazing watching them pretty much butt heads it is some of the best sequences in the movie there is a moment where Pattinson's character whose names we don't even learn for half the movie insults Defoe's cooking and <laughs> Defoe just goes biblical on him bringing down a epic curse there's just well it has to be seen to be believed and just the, the language the way it's delivered the way it's shot the Lighthouse is one of those fantastic movies that's hard to describe, that's hard to break down why it's so enjoyable, but it is an essential watch if you are any kind of film fan. Like I said, the performances are tremendous. It's got two really good actors. Pattinson has been doing better and better, and Defoe can just... Well, he's amazing, really. But Robert Eggers really delivers in this atmospheric story where there could be a supernatural underlying or there could be a, a mental break in amongst these individuals as they start to bully and taunt and, and torture each other uh, just out of the sake of having something different to do. I loved the production values, the look of the lighthouse, the way things were shot. There's a moment where Pattinson is whitewashing the lighthouse with Defoe's help and it's just exquisitely shot. There is moments of violence as well that just burst out of outrage, out of frustration within the characters and of the job they're doing as they slowly start to, you know, inch out bits of their past that maybe they shouldn't be sharing. It becomes even more engrossing as you're watching this. And there's a turning point in the movie where this storm hits the island and the ship can't come and get them and they find themselves stranded there for a long period of time and that's where things just take exponential steps of them getting crazier and wilder and having these ridiculous hallucinogenic ideas and it just gets oh so wonderful. I found The Lighthouse to be absolutely riveting, to be something that I, I couldn't take my eyes off from the performances to the look, to the script, to the strange use of the old timey language. This is set in the 1890s and the language is partly uh, the reason I loved it so much and the way it is delivered and this really rhythmic tone from the actors was wonderful. Two amazing performances, amazing direction, amazing setting, amazing looking, an amazing film that is really engrossing and so atmospheric. I highly recommend checking out The Lighthouse. I think it is essential for film fans out there to see. I'd love to know your opinion on it. Once you've checked it out, let me know in the comment box below and I will see you next time. A man versus film.